attribute a storm to climate change. Uh, but what we do expect is that climate change is going to affect how strong the storms are, how often they happen, how long they last, and that's really what made Toronto's storm unusual, for example. I mean, we get summer thunder showers all the time, but to have it rain that hard, that heavy, for that long, is what's unusual. A lot of our infrastructure is old and needs to be replaced, and we are completely unprepared for the kind of storms and the kind of weather events. It's not just storms, it's droughts as well, wildfires in some parts of the world. We're totally unprepared. Our infrastructure is totally unprepared for that. And that means our transportation infrastructure, uh, our electricity infrastructure, our uh, sewers and water mains, none of that is really built to withstand the kind of warming world that we know we're going to expect. So we have to start now to build those into our city planning build all the decisions we make so that as we're spending money to renew this infrastructure, we're ready for the world, the different world that we're facing. Mm -hmm. Right now, we've the planet is warming about 0 0.8 degrees, uh, which sounds awfully small, but we're already seeing the huge wildfires and droughts in Australia. We're seeing the pine beetles ravage the forest in British Columbia, uh, the huge flooding in Pakistan, and then not to mention Hurricane Sandy and the flooding in uh, uh, Calgary and then in Toronto. So this is what we're seeing on 0.8 degrees. The path we're on is to about four to six degrees of warming, even by the end of the century. There's no adapting to that. The cities as we know them now uh, are in deep trouble if that's the tack we're on. So we really have to adapt, but there's no question. We have to avoid the level of warming we're on or we're simply in, not going to make it. Four to six degrees warming is, is almost unimaginable. It's not something we can adapt to and still enjoy the quality of life and the cities where they are now and the kind of economic systems and social systems that are there. It's that dire. But there's also no reason we have to go to that future. Uh, we know exactly what we need to do to cut emissions. We know how to do it. The technology's there. Uh, most of it is, is good for us in many other ways. It saves money, improves air quality, uh, better use of resources. So we can choose the future that we want. Uh, four degrees is the current trajectory, and there's no reason at all we need to go there. Mm -hmm.